Welcome to another episode of Shocking Discovery. I'm JP from Northern Lights over Arkham, and I will look for so-called binder for their cards and try to find a good use for them in Arkham Horror the card game. We all have cards that get stuck into our binders, never to be used while building a deck for Arkham Horror the card game. We usually stick to the same old card combinations while building our decks, but sometimes it is refreshing to try out new combos. This time I will be looking at Warning Shot. Let's start discovering new cards to use in our decks. The discoveries might be shocking. If you like my content, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Let's look at Warning Shot a bit closer. Warning Shot was released in the Union and Dissolution Mythos Pack for the Circle Undone campaign cycle. Warning Shot is a zero level guardian event. It costs two resources to play. It has a strength and an agility icon for committing to skill tests. It has the tactical and trick traits. As an additional cost to play Warning Shot, spend one ammo from a firearm asset you control. Move all non-elite enemies at your location to a connecting location. This action does not provoke attacks of opportunity. My initial thoughts about Warning Shot were that it was an exciting card, but I soon realized that it is a really situational card to play. As it is not a fast action, it spends one action and also an ammo from a firearm asset. In true solo, you usually rather just spend the ammo to kill an enemy, so this looks like a better card in multiplayer. I really like the flavor of this card, and in some scenarios, in true solo, you may be swarmed by enemies at one point. In that kind of situation, you would rather get rid of multiple enemies that are engaged with you and you don't have enough ammo to kill them all. You can also combo warning shot with dynamite blast. If you are engaged with multiple non-elite enemies, you can first warning shot them to a connecting location and throw a dynamite blast after them. This way you don't take the damage from the dynamite blasts yourself. The way to look at how beneficial warning shot is, is to look how many actions it can save you at the critical point in a scenario and to realize that the right moment to play it may not arise in every scenario. Let's look at a situation from a game I had recently. I was engaged with an enemy and during the next mythos phase I drew another enemy with 4 health. I had only one ammo left on my weapon. So rather than trying to kill off both of the enemies, I could just warning shot and move the enemies to a connecting location, losing only one action and one ammo in the process. This way I was able to not deal with the enemies only using one action and one ammo, rather than using five actions over two turns. One important thing to notice is that using warning shot you won't risk a bad pull from the chaos pack. So you are guaranteed a success. Be also mindful that it does not affect elite enemies. You still could use warning shot to clear non-elite enemies off of a location where you are trying to take down an elite enemy. So you don't have to deal with the other enemies at the same time. As you can see, warning shot is a highly situational card and you may go through many scenarios without even needing to use it. It is a good thing that it has the tactic trait, so you can save space in your guardian deck and just take one copy, and as a guardian usually runs stick to the plan, you can put the card there to wait for the right moment to arise. This way you don't have to have it in your hand as a dead card, or clock up your deck with two copies. So, which investigators would be running Warning Shot? I would not run Warning Shot in every deck that uses firearms. If you are playing a full enemy killing investigator like Mark Harrigan, 
it usually is just better to kill off the enemies rather than move them to a connecting location with warning shot. Mark can deal with multiple enemies, so it's just better to focus on killing them usually. As warning shot has the trick trait, this means that Rita Young can use it. However, survivors don't have many firearm weapons at the moment. The only released firearm is old hunting rifle with three experience, and usually Rita would just take the ornate bow rather than the old hunting rifle. There is a new firearm weapon coming in the upcoming Stella Clark Investigator Starter Pack, released later this year, and it is the 18 caliber Derringer. It finally offers survivors to take a level 0 firearm weapon, and you could use it in combination with Warning Shot. Rita usually manages multiple enemies by evading them, but the situation might arise that you have too many enemies to just keep evading, and it would be better to just warning shot them to a connecting location. If you are playing an investigator that can deal with a single enemy with some effort, but would struggle against multiple enemies, then warning shot is a good way to save you from those situations that could cause your investigator to be defeated. A good example is Carolyn Fern, who is not good at dealing with enemies, but can handle a single enemy if her deck is built to have some enemy management. She will struggle to deal with multiple enemies, so Warning Shot is a great addition to her deck for those situations. Let's look at the recent deck I built for Carolyn Fern that uses Warning Shot. So here we have the Carolyn Fern deck that uses Warning Shot. This is a 19 experience deck that also has stick to the plan. So you can put warning shot on to stick to the plan, along with, for example, dynamite blast. This way, warning shot or the dynamite blast won't clog up your hand or be dead pulls from your deck. And when the situation arises where you would need to use the warning shot to deal with enemies, you can just exhaust stick to the plan and use the warning shot. This way. It is always ready for use, and you don't have to look for it in the deck. I will link a playthrough to the upper right corner, so you can check out one of my playthroughs where I play a similar deck with Carolyn Fern that has zero XP but uses warning shot. And there comes one situation in the game where I managed to use warning shot effectively to save me from risking a bad pull from the back. I hope you found something useful to try out in your games of Arkham Horror, the card game. If you have a card you would like me to get into use from the binder, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Until next time.